Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of the What Disney Princesses Have Taught Me video. <music> Belle would probably be my third favorite. No, she's like my fifth favorite Disney princess. And what she taught me was if someone kidnaps you but they have like a giant mass of something that you love, it's okay. And it's okay if they may... It's okay if they may look a little cracked out or like covered in hair. As long as you're doing it for the things. Like that giant library that she had in the castle. It's okay. It's okay if there's like talking magical candle candlesticks, clocks, plates, furniture and everything as long as you have the giant room like the library but filled with what something that you like or I like whatever so it's okay if you get kidnapped at that point princess jasmine princess jasmine taught me that it's okay to be a fierce independent woman but when it comes to a thief and a compulsive liar you must fall for him because that is a, the ultimate attractive attractive thing is a thief a compulsive liar and, you know, someone who, like, enslaved another being at, till, like, he realized, like, oh my gosh, I have to let him free. Because, like, reasons. But it's okay. This would be Pocahontas! Now, I know that Pocahontas is kind of like a sketchy, kind of Disney princess -y area. But according to the Disney Wiki, I'm gonna count it. My hair is, like, dehydrated. I'm going, my hair is thirsty. This. Pocahontas taught me it's okay like it's okay if it's like these people are trying to murder your whole entire tribe because you love that one person everything will stop because you love that one person this would be Mulan Mulan is my second favorite Disney princess I put air quotes because she's not really a princess and she doesn't really become a princess at the end she mainly becomes a general's wife which isn't really a princess but we'll just we'll let it aside Disney we'll let it aside so she taught me it's okay to cross dress like it's okay because you are protecting your family you are like protecting your honor but it's okay to cross dress and act like a man and like serve an army and then possibly have a homosexual-esque kind of relationship with your general and have him like wonder like well, what the heck am I like questioning his sexuality pretty much. Even though sexuality is not set in stone, it is fluid. Just gonna put that out. And talking lizards are always gonna be funny and bite people's butts for you. Just so you know. Next we have Princess Tiana. Girl, Princess Tiana is my third favorite. Girl, we live down in the bayou. We live in the 1920s. So this movie, like, this Disney Princess Slash movie taught me that racism did not exist in the 1920s, which, in fact, it actually did. But we'll, ex we'll, we'll set that aside at Disney. But she taught me if... <laughs> Some don't trust voodoo magic, by the way. Girl, don't trust it. I'm just kind of rambling, so do not trust voodoo magic. Work hard, work hard for what you get. Kiss lots of frogs, by the way, because you never know who's going to turn into a prince. And jerky princes, you know, don't really... Jerky princes turn into frogs. We're watching you. And then we have Rapunzel. Rapunzel taught me if you get kidnapped when you're a baby and you get locked into a tower... Just don't even think about attempting to escape, you know. Don't even think about it. Because you will be okay. And you have, like, that magical weave. But, you know, like, just don't escape, you know. You will live a happy life painting on walls and doing the same thing every single day and brushing out your, like, very long weave. So, Rapunzel taught me to never escape when I'm kidnapped. Just way to go, Rapunzel. Don't, wait, no, don't escape till I turn 18. When I turn 18, I can escape. Way to go, Rapunzel. Way to go. And then lastly, we have Mirida. 
Mirda, by the way, if you guys don't know, is from Brave, Pixar. She was really cool. She's top 10-ish area. I don't know. Um, girl, I'm like cold right now. I'm like freezing. <laughs> so she told me that I can curse at my mother and my mother will get very angry with me and turn into a bear, try to kill me, but then I have to like apologize to her for cursing at her and then everything will be okay. Except the fact that she still tried to kill me and some old demon bear tried to kill me as well and apparently like I'm going to be really good with bound arrows. In conclusion, do not take lessons away from Disney princess movies except Snow White, do not trust tra strangers. Cinderella, do not drop your shoes. If you drop a shoe, drop both shoes and keep on running. Sleeping Beauty. Touch anything sketchy, you know, just don't poke yourself. The Little Mermaid. <clears throat> it is okay to want to be something different. Belle. Reading can be really, really good and like really help healthy situation and do not judge a book by its cover. Princess Jasmine. All because someone does not start out as a prince does not mean they can't end up as a prince. Pocahontas. Interracial love is okay. Mulan. Mulan taught me it was okay to cross dress and that women are empowering, empowering, really clear, empowering, and you no, know, like a woman can do anything that a man can do. Plus, Tiana taught me to stay away from dark magic because you will turn into frogs. Rapunzel taught me to love my own hair, and but if it gets in the way, cut it off, and you know, thieves can be princes too. And then Mirna taught me not to kiss at my mother because she will turn into a bear and then try to brutally mur murder me. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed like these two little videos. Um, I just like randomly thought off of them. I'm pretty sure Jenna Marbles did something like this, but I'm not entirely sure. I know she did what Disney movies taught me, so I was like, okay, let's do Disney princesses because I love the Disney princesses. If enjoyed this video, please give it a like, favorite, comment, subscribe, thumbs up. And if you want to follow me on all my social media links, the links will be down in the description below. Or you can go on any social media site and look up Claire C. Hammy, and I should be there. So if you guys enjoyed this video, wait, deuces. And act like a man and like serve an army. And then possibly have a homosexual-esque kind of relationship with your general. And have him like wonder like, well, what the heck am I like questioning his sexuality pretty much. Even though sexuality is not set in stone, it is fluid. Just gonna put that out. And talking lizards are always gonna be funny and bite people's butts for you. Just so you know. Next we have Princess Tiana. Girl, Princess Tiana is my third favorite. Girl, we live in down in the bayou. We live in the 1920s. So this movie, like this Disney Princess Flesh movie taught me that racism did not exist in the 1920s, which in fact it actually did, but we'll ex we'll we'll set that aside at Disney. But she taught me if some don't trust voodoo magic by the way girl don't trust it i'm just kind of rambling so do not trust voodoo magic work hard work hard for what you get kiss lots of frogs by the way because you never know who's going to turn Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of the What Disney Princesses Have Taught Me video. <music> Belle would probably be my third favorite. No, she's like my fifth favorite Disney princess. And what she taught me was if someone kidnaps you but they have like a giant mass of something that you love, it's okay. And it's okay if they may, it's okay if they may look a little cracked out or like covered in hair. As long as you're doing it for the things. Like that giant library that she had in the castle, it's okay. It's okay if there's like talking magical candle, candlesticks, clocks, plates, furniture and everything. As long as you have the giant room, like the library, but filled with the, what, something that you like or I like, whatever. So it's okay if you get kidnapped at that point. Princess Jasmine. Princess Jasmine taught me that it's okay to be a fierce independent woman. But when it comes to a thief and a compulsive liar, you must fall for him. 
because that is a, the ultimate attractive attractive thing is a thief a compulsive liar and you know someone who like enslaved another being at till like he realized like oh my gosh I have to let him free because like reasons but it's okay this would be Pocahontas now I know that Pocahontas is kind of like a sketchy kind of Disney princess area but according to the Disney wiki I'm gonna count it my hair is like the high I'm going my hair is thirsty this Pocahontas taught me it's okay like it's okay if like these people are trying to murder your whole entire tribe because you love that one person everything will stop because you love that one person this would be Mulan. Mulan is my second favorite Disney princess. I put air quotes because she's not really a princess and she doesn't really become a princess at the end. She mainly becomes a general's wife which isn't really a princess but we'll, we'll let it aside Disney. We'll let it aside. So she taught me it's okay to cross dress. Like it's okay because you are protecting your family. You are like protecting your honor. But it's okay to cross dress to a prince and jerky princes you know don't really jerky princes turn into frogs we're watching you and then we have rapunzel rapunzel taught me if you get kidnapped when you're a baby and you get locked into a tower just don't even think about attempting to escape you know don't even think about it because you will be okay and you have like that magical weave, but you know, like, just don't escape. You know, you will live a happy life painting on walls and doing the same thing every single day and brushing out your like very long weave. So, Rapunzel taught me to never escape when I'm kidnapped. Just way to go, Rapunzel. Don't wait, no, don't escape till I turn 18. When I turn 18, I can escape. Way to go, Rapunzel. Way to go. And then lastly, we have Mirida. Mirida, by the way, if you guys know, is from Brave, Pixar. She was really cool. She's top 10-ish area. I don't know. Um, girl, I'm like cold right now. I'm like freezing. <laughs> so she taught me that I can curse at my mother. My mother will get very angry with me and turn into a bear and try to kill me. But then I have to like apologize to her for cursing at her and then everything will be okay except the fact that she still tried to kill me and some old demon bear tried to kill me as well and apparently like I'm gonna be really good with bow and arrows. In conclusion do not take lessons away from Disney princess movies except Snow White do not trust tra strangers. Cinderella do not drop your shoes if you drop a shoe drop both shoes and keep on running. Sleeping Beauty touch anything sketchy you know just don't poke yourself the little mermaid <clears throat> it is okay to want to be something different bell reading can be really really good and like really help healthy situation and do not judge a book by its cover princess jasmine all because someone does not start out as a prince does not mean they can't end up as a prince pocahontas interracial love is okay mulan Mulan taught me it was okay to cross dress and that women are empowering, empowering, really clear, empowering and